Leicht bear? Yeah. Leicht. Leicht bear? Leicht. Leicht bear. Yeah. Okay. Leicht bear is the German equivalent of American light lager. We're going to brew one up and talk about packaging hops. Have you ever fallen out of love? We hadn't played dumb or changed the station to push turns into show. We get so clever. Hi, I'm Martin Keen, and I'm taking the homebrew challenge to brew all 99 BJCP beer styles. And today's beer really reminds me of the very first beer I brewed, American Light Lager, which Whit Baker told me it is more or less brewed for. Uh, the smallest amount of flavor possible in a beer. But I think unlike American Light Lager, which really is brewed to taste like nothing, that this light beer really does actually have a bit of a hoppy characteristic to it. So whereas American Light Lager had a IBU of 10, the, uh, the light beer that I'm brewing is going to have an IBU of 23. And given the very low gravity of this thing, we're talking around 3% ABV when it's done then I think that hoppiness is really going to come through. The grist for a beer like this, super simple. For the base malt, I'm using six pounds of German Pilsner malt. And then for the specialty malt, I am using eight ounces of Victory malt. Going for a final gravity of 1032, I'm mashing for about 60 minutes at 152 Fahrenheit. Uh, thirsty for more, the wine that you pour is poison. So let's talk a little bit about hop storage. I keep my hops in the freezer and because I'm brewing so frequently, I need a lot of hops. So I have in my freezer here two containers just filled with hops. Uh, in container one, I have hops A through C and in container two, I have hops D through Z. There are a lot of hops beginning with the letter C, it turns out. Now, Hops, of course, come in different sizes. Now, this is probably the most common size that you'd see at the homebrew store, uh, in the US at least. This is one ounce of hops. And uh, it used to be that I would just go out and buy a whole bunch of these every time I needed to do a brew. That is not very practical when you're brewing every week. It would mean I'm at the homebrew store all the time and it also kind of gets a bit expensive. So you can also buy hops in much bigger bags. This is one pound. So this is the equivalent of 16 of these. Uh, it's much cheaper to buy like this. And what I'll typically do is I'll look out for a sale. So this, I got these from Yakima Valley Hops. Uh, they typically have great Black Friday sales. So I'll go out and just buy a bunch of hops there. Now the issue is if you're buying big bags like this, you're definitely not gonna use them all in one batch. So how do you go about storing them? So my approach to this is to use a very inexpensive vacuum sealer. That will make sure that we get all the air out of the hops when they're stored in the freezer and should extend their life. Now my process for this is very simple. First of all, I use the vacuum sealer to create a bag and then I pour out my hops, however many I need for a particular brew, straight out of the original packet. Then I put the packet inside of the bag and then use the vacuum sealer to seed it up. Now we're air-free, nicely vacuum sealed hops. They go back in the freezer. Now I make the bags much bigger than they need to be because each time I cut them, that way I have room to reseal them again without having to use a new bag. And that's how I'm able to keep a fresh supply of hops around every brew day and to do it where it's not quite so expensive as buying those individual packets. And speaking of hops, the hops for this one, for the bittering hop, I am using one ounce of Styrian Golding. That goes in at 60 minutes. Then at five minutes, I am using Halatau hops. Those will go in five minutes from the end. And then at flame out, I've got one ounce of Czech SARS hops.
some big news with this one. After weeks and weeks and weeks of brewing stuff as lagers and needing to get them down to really cool temperatures, this week I'm brewing the beer as an ale. Yes, this is WLP 029 German Ale yeast, and it needs to be pitched at yeah, 65, 70 Fahrenheit, which is no problem. I've been able to cool it to that. So rather than doing my usual thing of sticking my wort in the chest freezer and coming back later when it's cooler and adding the yeast, I'm gonna pitch the yeast right away. So it's time to taste the light beer. And I've brought back Cody. Now, Cody, you were here for the very first beer in the challenge. That's right. Which was American Light Lager. Mm -hmm. And now we are on German Light Lager. So you are my Mr. All right. Light Lager. Awesome. Excited. So, so what do you think about the color of this one? Is it sort of light and lagery? I'd say so. It's pretty on point with how lager should look. I tell you, I tell you what I am <laughs> pleased about with this beer actually is carbonation. It's got like that big foamy German lagery sort of head, and it's going crazy in the glass. Oh, so, yeah. um, I mean, that's not really a quality of the beer. That's just how much <laughs> carbonation I gave it. But I think it looks the part. Germans are going crazy with their beer. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, so uh, okay, let's, let's let's go for the taste. Favorite part. Wow, it's really smooth. Yeah, and that's got a nice aftertaste to it too. It's kind of like earthy almost yeah and at four percent um i would I, I get a bit worried with these really light beers that there's not going to be really anything going on yeah um but actually there's a there's a sort of a, a it's got character yeah it's, it's got, got character. character to it yeah. right yeah for sure so i don't know how well you remember the american light lager which i think you described as like a good miller light or something <laughs> <laughs> what was it uh a Miller light, that's what it was. <laughs> a Miller light. Gourmet Miller light. <laughs> that was a gourmet, that was right. <laughs> and to me at least, I think there is some sort of enjoyable quality in this beer, whereas the American light lager was just like fizzy alcohol, to be honest. Yeah, well, 4% you can probably enjoy quite a few of these, so that's a bonus. Quite a few, that's for sure. All right, well, cheers. Cheers. So, if you weren't drinking light lagers, what style would you actually like to try? <laughs> <laughs> Pale ales are good, like like hopiums, things like that. Okay, so we are so far away from hopiums yeah, like, right now, but oh, yeah. it's coming. So, okay, I'll bring you back for like a more hop forward beer. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, <laughs> okay. more light lagers. 